Hi everyone, in this video we look at the toilet fill valve in part 3 of a 3 part series. First we will identify the parts of a fill valve and then how the fill valve operates. This is the fill valve system. This is the valve cap that contains the valve seal and this is the valve arm. Here is the refill tube and the refill tube clip. These are the fill tube, the float and the adjustment screw the lock ring, the fill ports, and gasket. The lock nut that secures the fill valve to the toilet tank and the threaded end of the fill valve. The connector, supply holes or tube, and the water supply valve. And finally, this is the critical line that will be explained later in this video. And now how the fill valve works. Waiting for the next flush, Water sits in a tank at a level about a half inch to one inch below the top of the overflow pipe. And the water level lifts the float, which lifts the adjustment screw and valve arm and seals the valve closed. When the toilet handle is pressed, it lifts the lever and flapper. Then the tank water drops and rushes into the bowl below. As the water level drops, the float follows. The adjustment screw and valve arm also drop and opens the fill valve. Supply water flows up the center tube, passes through the valve, down the outer tube, out the fill ports, and into the tank. Water fills the tank and lifts the float. The float lifts the adjustment screw and valve arm and seals the valve closed again. The tank water level is adjusted with the adjustment screw. Turning the screw clockwise for a higher water level and counterclockwise for a lower water level. Also, as water is filling the tank, some water flows from the refill port through the refill tube and down the overfill pipe to refill the toilet bowl. And here are two important safety features to protect the water supply line in case of a fill valve failure. First, the refill tube clip provides an air gap above the overflow pipe, which keeps the tip of the tube away from the water. This prevents water from siphoning back through the refill tube to the fill valve. The second safety feature is the critical line mentioned earlier. The height of the critical line needs to be set at least one inch above the top of the overflow pipe. Just in case the fill valve fails to close, the rising water in the tank will flow into the overflow pipe and down to the toilet bowl. This will keep the tank water level below the fill valve and prevent water from flowing back to the fill valve. Again, this is part three of a three part series. Part 1 explain how the toilet bowl works, and Part 2 how the toilet flush valve works. Links are in the description below.